from her mother's cell phone. When they got there, Kloss's mother Denise and father James had been shot to death. There was no sign of the 13-year-old. Now, 21-year-old Jake Patterson is in jail, charged with two counts of intentional homicide and one count of kidnapping. Investigators say they believe Patterson targeted Kloss, but it's not clear how he knew of her. We have recovered a gun consistent with what was used at the scene of the initial homicide. Deputies arrested Patterson shortly after Kloss was found. They believe he was out looking for her at the time. They say Patterson went to great lengths not to leave evidence at the shooting scene. They still don't know why this happened. I know all of you are searching for the answer of why any of this happened. Believe me, so are we. Kloss is now back with her relatives. Chris Pallone, NBC News. If you're a federal worker, you probably didn't get your paycheck today for the first time since the government shut down three weeks ago. For many, it's really hitting home. I was able to pay my mortgage this month, but I don't know about next month. In just a few hours, this will officially be the longest government shutdown in American history, and there's no end in sight. President Trump is making it clear he believes he can declare a national emergency to get funding for a border wall. I have the absolute right to do it. I'd rather not do it because this is something that Congress should easily do. Some lawmakers say a national emergency declaration could be the only way to end the shutdown, but other Republicans disagree, and some Democrats have already promised legal challenges if that should happen. Columbia Sportswear is getting involved in the shutdown debate.